Hi Virgo, welcome to your love and relationship reading for the month of twenty of August 2020. You can book your reading with me at akilaastrology.com. Follow me on my social medias at Akila Astrology on Instagram, SoundCloud, and YouTube. So let's start the month off, Virgo. We start your month off with an energy of abundance. Um, the relationship dynamics that you're trying to cultivate right now um, are about um, bountifulness. You really want something that is going to really blossom. Um, you want something that is going to be tangible, secure, fertile, beautiful. I mean, right now, it just seems to me like this month starts off with beautifying yourself. I think beautifying yourself or doing something that makes you feel uh, valuable or doing something good for yourself will be really big because the month already starts off with a big Venetian energy. Um, your view right now in your relationships is that you may feel like um, there may be some unfairness, you know, in your world, in your relationship. So you're assessing maybe the people in your world, your world, whether it be platonic relationships or love relationships. Um, your world can be upside down due to relationships, and you may be trying to assess that right now because there's a flow of abundance coming to you. But you're also trying to assess, okay, how do I navigate this? How do I turn my world? Upright. How do I make everything work, you know, with all these other things that are also happening? How do I be uh, my own magician? For your partner's call, we got the Queen of Swords. So you may be in a partnership or alignment with someone that may be just doing their own thing. Um, doesn't really follow the rules or goals with what everybody else is doing. Uh, they're probably really opinionated or have their own will. So there could be... Um, Maybe some strong words being said to you or um, maybe they feel a way about whatever's happening in your world. So they have uh, their own ideas and feelings towards that. So I'm not going to lie. This is going to be a little bit negative. Your partner could be a little negative right now uh, this month. And it could be because they they are not focusing on their own shit, <laughs> you know, because they're probably going through something uh, mentally and maybe they may be projecting that. But again, the inference is here. So I know that there is an abundance this month um, for you. It's just really about stabilizing your world. That's what I'm seeing here with you, Virgo, putting your ducks in a row um, and then uh, slowly one by one kind of, you know, doing uh, going through them. Um, the outcome card for the truth that I got for this reading is, you know, when you're dealing with people and they want to be nasty, you can be nasty too because swords are drawn, everybody's able to fight here. But if you're dealing with a person that is just constantly being nasty for no reason, just to, just to bring you down, just so they can feel good about themselves, this might not be something that you want to be in. Or if you're being the person that is being nasty and unagreeable and just, just negative to your partner or people, you know, um, you may find that there's some consequence for that this month. If you're not really managing things, you know, um, but, but again, you want to take things real slow because when the world card is here, you want to make sure that what you're seeing is what you're getting. What you're saying is what you're saying. Um, and you don't want people to think that um, you're trying to one-up them, you know, just because. So this is a focus that I'm seeing with this month in your relationship. Be careful with your words. Be careful with how you use your words with your relationship or how you try to express yourself because um, it may come off, of, come off some, to some people as a jab or, you, or other people may be coming to you and jabbing you. That's what I'm noticing. Anyways, whatever the case is with you and your partner, Virgo, it just seems to me like um, both of you need just to not talk to each other if it's not going to be nice. If you don't have anything nice to say to that to your partner, don't say nothing at home at all. If you're a Virgo's partner and you have nothing nice to say to them, don't don't say anything at all because all that's going to end up happening this month is fighting and nastiness and backbiting and betrayal and all this gossip and all these other things that come with this vibration. And if you don't want that drama, don't do it. Try to stay away from it. If possible, if you can, please. All right. So anyways, this is your reading, Virgo. I'll be back next month. If you want to book a reading, contact me at akilastrology at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. Bye.